Hi, everyone. Welcome to the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync for Monday, the 23rd of November, 2020. We're going to go through our high priority initiatives, our other initiatives, Q&A, parking lot, question time, answer time, all the fun things. It's going to be amazing. Without further ado, let's start with the high priority initiative. So upcoming and ship releases. Who can talk about this? Yes, go IPFS 0.8, the RC. We're hoping to maybe land it this week, um, but with holidays in the US landing later this week, it will likely push to uh, next week. And we just have a few things that we need to finish up that we will talk about shortly for pinning services. Amazing. Anything else on releases? Okay, printing services. Um, I'd say the mm, pin remote commands, which is like six commands uh, for pins and then managing serv pinning services, are never ready for release candidate one. So it should not be blocking when you guys are ready for uh, cutting RC1. Um, I've added a re Oh yeah, I made a mistake. So pin remote service ls uh, with pin count. Um, when you pass that parameter, it will test the endpoint and try to fetch how many pins in each status you got, like uh, queued, uh, pinning, pinned, and failed. Uh, so that acts both uh, as a quick uh, uh, validation of the service you've added, but also it will be used by web UI when in our final end-to-end -end integration. Um, the CI is still not green, but we are working on a fix uh, to the pinning service uh, uh, we use on the CI to be green. Um, so hopefully it will align nicely with the plan for RC to land uh, this week or next week. Um, yeah. And uh, in HTTP client for which is used by WebUI and uh, the JS land. Uh, it, uh, the adding support for pin remote commands is a work in progress. Uh, I believe Iraqi is tackling that one. Uh, yeah, I, I was just adding items. Am I muted? No. Um, yeah, so I worked on uh, uh, JS mock pinning service as it lets you integrate it to the Go IPFS so you can test things out. Um, I'll be publishing it sometime today. Uh, it's not uh, feature complete, but it has most of it in there already. Uh, so then I'll be publishing some of the changes to the draft PR that we have for JSHTP client. Uh, and once I, also today, and this week I'll be working on completing the mock server impl service implementation to be feature complete. And once it's there, I'll try to integrate it into the JSHTP client tests uh, so we can run against it. Hopefully this week. That's it. Me too. Uh, next up is local pinning. All right, that's uh, nearly ready for RC1. Uh, all that we're waiting on is a couple decisions, minor implementation decisions concerning things like encoding, whether to use multi-base or not. So there's uh, just a matter of making sure this is going to be ready for any future changes and, and do we need to do anything to future-proof it or is it good? So once those decisions have been made, um, then everything should be ready to uh, move along in terms of getting that uh, that implementation in, as well as make sure the migrations um, are tested with the latest and co IPFS is uh, depending on, on the appropriate version of the pinner. So uh, that's all we're waiting for at this point. Cool. Next up is Sekai removal. Yeah, so last week that got removed from the bootstrap nodes. So we are doing some monitoring on the network now to see how things go um, to assess the situation. But we are in uh, watch, watch and observe mode. So far, so good. Uh, next up is JS improves discoverability and connectivity. 
Uh, yes, so the auto relay example was merged last week. And with that, uh, all the auto relay stuff is now complete. Uh, in the rendezvous front, uh, I started last week addressing uh, Jacob's review. We also had a call to align on uh, uh, some stuff on, on the review. Uh, and so with that, I, uh, I already did some stuff. I basically, we decided to separate the client and the server. And with that, we aim to move the, the client part to the lipid p core. Uh, then I also added the DOS protection uh, for the register. And uh, I'm currently working on a Docker Compose setup with also uh, MySQL. Uh, so uh, basically, I'm working on creating uh, the database model and queries so that we don't have everything in, in memory and we basically store everything in, in the MySQL database. And this week I will continue on that. And also uh, I need to work on improving the garbage collector uh, as, as I will change how we currently deal with uh, the data. Uh, and then uh, we also need to align uh, with the uh, libre to be regarding message signing. That's one of the things that uh, me and Jacob discussed and eventually it will make sense to add message signing in the same way as we have for PubSub, but it's currently not part of, part of the spec. So yeah, I also create an issue, an issue for that and I aim to eventually get the signing message as well. And that's it. Good stuff. Uh, next up is bi-directional streaming and streaming errors in the browser. Um, so I have marked the PR as ready for review. Uh, it has implementations of the four different types of gRPC web messages. So unary client streaming, server streaming, and bi-directional streaming. Um, I have like documented the protocol that it uses because it's not made up, but it's not part of the spec because the spec doesn't allow for web sockets, um, but it is based on other people's implementation. So I didn't pluck it out of thin air. Anyway, it's all there, it's documented. Um, along with a rough plan of how we can get it into Go IPFS as well. So I'd love some uh, eyeballs from the Go guys as well and Go people, not just guys, I mean, all guys. Um, I'd love some input from people across the ecosystem because ultimately this should really go into Go IPFS as well. Um, so we can have like just awesome stuff happening in the browser with proper full duplex streams everywhere. Um, that would be really helpful. Uh, I've listed out what I think are all the design decisions that have been made. So if people are completely mortally offended by things that have happened, please do shout in the PR and we can reach some kind of agreement. Um, yep, that is it. Uh, that is it for the high priority initiatives. Next up are the other initiatives. Uh, so file add progress in web UI. No update it says. Um, so, cool. yeah, no updates. Cool. Uh, did you manage to integrate the progress stuff then? Is it still to do? No, I've been mostly doing the pinning services stuff. Okay. I'll get to that after I'm done with pinning services. Cool, fair enough. Uh, oh, don't unmute yet. Yeah. Next up is TypeScript integration for JSRFS. I also not yet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Hugo has an update as well there. Uh, yeah, so um, we have support now for in Asia for the um, the types generating the types uh, running the type checker and building the documentation. Um, building the documentation is still kind of experimental because it's using a, a workaround that mostly works on the smaller repos, but on the bigger ones like JSWFS, it's harder to to get some useful output from that, but for, for the smaller ones, it works uh, nicely. Uh, some PRs on the multi-ash and multi-base are already um, ready. Uh, CID is also ready. Um, and I'm using the old uh, TS um, tracking issue to track this, um, this new work. Uh, and also like um, the monorepo, the JS IPFS monorepo, um, need some work on the types. Uh, we have a new proposal um, that Iraqli wrote uh, that basically um, describes a bunch of stuff that we've been talking about. 
Um, and yeah, that's uh, it's a little bit more complicated that repo because we need to reuse types in multiple multiple packages, so we need to organize stuff better. But you can read all about it in the proposal. Uh, yeah, that's it. Awesome. Uh, next up is the use of shared node from service worker. Anything? Uh, sorry. Uh, what was it? Uh, service worker. Oh yeah, I was actually trying to figure out if I need to do is there anything or is that if it was ready? Uh, but it seems there's one issue that needs to be resolved. If I'm reading the PR correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Yeah. So uh, I'll try to address this week and hopefully run it. Nice. Then we can get it in. Uh, budget to support, no update. I mean, <laughs> standard. Yeah. I, I keep checking every day. I hit refresh and <laughs> a few times a day. No, no, I haven't seen any announcements either about when they're going to release that, but yeah, hopefully know something end of the year. Happy Christmas. Okay. Uh, not traversal. It's me. Um, yeah, so Arsh is working on um, improving our dialability statistics. So we started adding some stuff to Hydra nodes so that as we observe traffic going through, we start pinging people and just trying to get a better idea of what dialability looks like on the network um, so that we can use that for our success criteria when we implement full net traversal. And then um, he is working on improving some issues with AutoNAT being a little bit flaky in terms of observed addresses. Um, so working on stability for that, as that will be important for hole punching. Radical. Uh, next up is the Unix v1.5 in Go IPFS. Um, I don't think there's been any movement on this since last week, um, though I did put a demo repo together that lets um, uh, our fantastic contributor uh, run the JS IPFS interface test suite um, against arbitrary Go IPFS without having to jump through lots of hoops and pull the whole mono repo down and that kind of thing. Um, so that should help there. No update apart from that. And next up is Go IPFS GC improvements. Oh, uh, still working on design. I've actually had a number of uh, discussions about how we can maybe use some of the existing infrastructure for doing more intelligent uh, garbage collection. We have Arc Cache and Bloom Filter and things like that. They don't want to uh, duplicate if we don't uh, need to, if there's any functionality uh, that we can uh, use that's already existing. Um, so I'm just trying to, uh, we're just, I'm just in discussions at this point, I haven't had any solid answers as to what we're going to do with how we're going to modify those for the for our caching so it's, we're, we're into design discussions that's the short end of the, the answer good stuff uh that brings us to the end of the other initiatives um so next up is design review proposals do you want to propose something for design review I mean, I guess sort of the um, GRPC web over WebSocket stuff that I've been doing needs some kind of design review. Um, so if you would like to get involved, do just comment on the PR and uh, yeah, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, be kind, that kind of thing. If there's nothing else. This is good. probably a good, Point for Chris's thing on graph sync integration. Hey guys, I just put something in there, but I've been working on uh, the JavaScript implementation of graph sync. And uh, Mikhail Rogers asked me to join this call to discuss the possible integration point with JS IPFS, as I think you guys are making some plans for that next year or something. So I'm here to answer any questions or discuss it, just don't know exactly how to proceed. Can 
It's um, still in progress. So you're happy to, or you're welcome to look at it, um, but uh, still working on a number of things. So I think it's more about getting a placeholder for the future from an integration point. Just as a quick summary where, where, I, where I'm at right now is um, I can issue a request to a responder and I validate that against the uh, Go IPFS. Um, um, and uh, I did a prototype of a responder. So I think I've been working on most recently is doing some validation of um, the requests coming back to make sure the bad actor responder doesn't send me bad stuff. Um, and I think I'm getting pretty close to putting that all together. Um, and then I'll uh, take the prototype responder implementation and integrate that into the requesters. So I think I'll be in pretty good shape by the end of December. Um, that's what I'm expecting. Uh, is this something that we need to de uh, detect based on notes some peers would have graphing and others don't? Or is there something that just replaces current bit swap? Well, um, in Go IPFS, it, they have the responder turned on, but there's nothing that ever makes a request out. <laughs> so within Go IPFS, it's kind of a, it, it, you can't enable it to replace BitSwap. All you can do is enable the responder to provide new way of accessing data. Okay. Um, and I think, you know, if we took the, I think one big question is, okay, so if we integrate with JSIPFS, um, what do we want to do with it? Do we want to do just like what Go IPFS does and make it act as a responder in case request comes in? Do you want to have a mode where um, it can actually issue requests uh, to other nodes as like you said, a bit swap replacement? I think there's questions like that in terms of what is the exact functionality. I don't know if Go IPFS's graph sync has some roadmap or plan for that, but um, but yeah, the exact way you integrate it is, is open. So Thanks. Uh, Hannah and Alex Krushinks will be coming back to IPFS early in December. Um, and some of the stuff they're looking at is IPLD, Go Prime integration, and then also the graph sync bit swap story for Go IPFS. So I think that would be really good for um, you and Alex Botsidis to be able to sync up with them um, in a Dean so that we can all kind of coordinate and, and launch those things all together. So I will, okay. I'll make a, a note um, for us to make sure that we sync up probably sometime next month so that we can figure out what we want to do in, in Q1. Sounds good. Uh, anything else for the design of your proposal section? Anyone blocked by anything? Anybody got any asks? High throughput, maximum productivity. Very good. Anybody got any questions? Yep. Um, the lib to be update uh, the simple peer to the latest version. This is mostly related to the buffer thing, so we can up, um, upgrade Webpack to five. I think that was the last one blocking us. Simple, uh, simple peer is just I, a a patch release, though, right? Uh, yeah, but the the thing is that we were using a fork. Uh, because Alex fixed something a while ago, and I think we didn't switch back. Uh, I will have a look and uh, uh, PR the new simple peer version. Okay, yeah, I think something we may want to look at next year is just overhauling simple peer and actually switching it over to use like ASIC iterators instead of like right now it's still readable stream all internally. Um, yeah. So we're losing losing some goodness there. Yeah, that would be good. Cool, just ping me when you figure that out or if you need any help so I can update Asia. Cool. Next up is the parking lot. 
anything that hasn't been covered already? Incredible. I guess that's it, we're done. Thanks for coming everyone. Uh, please do fill in your async updates. People do read them, it's very useful. Uh, but yes, lovely to see you all. This has been the Core PFS, uh, sorry, the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync for the 23rd of November. Uh, stay safe out there. Um, things are getting better. It's almost Christmas. Uh, see you on the internet. Bye. Bye.